I am in a boat in the Cape Romaine National Wildlife Refuge. I'm speaking with Jeff Massey, and your family has a seafood business down here in McCollinville. We do, Livingston's Bulls Bay Seafood. And today we are um, out harvesting clams, and um, they are at the bottom of this waterway that we're in. Yes, we grow them in bags, and uh, it makes it a lot easier to go out and harvest them when you're ready because you know exactly where they are. You know how long they've been down, how big they are. So I can send out my you know, my two or three man crew and we can harvest 30,000 clams in an hour. Whoa. So. <laughs> and, and nature feeds them. Well, all we have to do is put them out here and they, they feed on natural algae. And there's, no, uh, there's no feed that has to be given to them. They all eat naturally food. and. Uh, and uh, it's, it's very, very cheap to feed them. And as they take in nutrients, the things that they don't want, they expel. And you said that's making a whole nother little ecosystem. And you're seeing that as you come out here. Tell me what all we do. is we, the, the we, result of that. We get a, a just a, a barren mud flat out here is what we look for to plant on. And we will actually uh, create a whole ecosystem. We'll plant a big block of bags. There might be 2,000 bags in one block. And, uh, and there'll be two million clams in that rock. And they clear the food out of the water. The water gets cleaner. They eat, they eat all the junk in the water. Um, a mature clam at full size clears 50 gallons of water a day. Um, and by junk, we're talking mostly about algae, so it's nothing but. <laughs> yeah, well, they eat, they eat a little bit of algae, and then anything else that's in there, they, they take it and they'll mix it and they spit it back out, and it sinks to the bottom. So the water actually gets clearer. So they're improving the water quality where we are. But also um, shrimp and crabs and little fish and birds and everything. When you get out here at low tide, it creates a whole new life area. And, and everything lives and, and hides and feeds and grows and spawns. And, and, uh, and it it's, was nothing was there before. There might have been a conch crawling across there. Really? But, um, but now it's a whole circus going on. And we're not depleting the resources of the ocean. The no, ocean has no, plenty of resources in it. When I was coming along, we didn't eat clams much in South Carolina. I didn't think of them. And why was that? Well, we just have this tradition built built into everybody here in the, in the South that if we didn't have an R in the mouth, you didn't eat any kind of shellfish, mm -hmm. oysters, or clams or anything. And, and a lot of that was people were afraid it was bacteria. Really, the problem was not the bacteria. It was the fact that we needed to give the, the animals a chance to, to restart. Um, mm -hmm. they, they all spawn, they're all, they're all born in May. And uh, during the summer, that's when they get a chance to, to get going and get a little size on them so that they're, they're healthy and they're productive again in the fall when we want to eat them. And not to mention that they're, the, the term we use in the industry is poor. Uh, they don't have a lot of meat to them mm -hmm. during the summer because they burned up all their energy spawning and now everybody's just recovering and getting ready. Because it takes them about a year to really get ready for that big spawn in there. And so you are able to have oysters throughout the year though because of the way y'all are um, adding, bringing them in, the little babies, and putting them down there so you can harvest them at the optimum time. That's right. We, uh, we plant oysters all year long so we can harvest oysters all year long. And, uh, and so ours and our, we get them really, they don't, most of them don't spawn until after they're over a year old. So we're really getting to most of the oysters before they're spawning. Okay. Or, or right when they're starting to, and it's not a big spawn for them. So they don't lose a lot of their mass if they do. Tourism is such an important part of the economy of South Carolina. And I imagine that people coming down here who are more accustomed to eating clams have helped increase the demand for them. Dramatically so. Um, all the tourists really want um, fresh seafood that they're used to, and they they harvest um, clams and oysters up north during the summer. So that's what they want down here. So that's what we provide. We're able to uh, um, provide the, the shellfish to Myrtle Beach and to Charleston that all these tourists are wanting. And you tell me, and I can't wait, um, you tell me some of your favorite recipes and how you like to cook clams, so I'm real excited because now all I have to do is come down to McCollinville any time of the year and I can have these wonderful clams that start out about yay big and that's what about a third of an inch or a quarter of an inch. Yeah, they'll start, at, it's like four to six millimeters, so it's about, about a quarter of an inch. Okay, and then, the, and then you come out with 
various sizes. Um, and you say different restaurants and different people, different cooks, different cultures like different sizes. So when you open the bag, there's going to be a good bit of variety in it, but somebody's going to want something. That's right. We, uh, we'll pull out some of the biggest ones uh, and their top necks. And those are the ones people like to stuff and, and do things like that with. And then uh, the little necks are mainly what we sell. And, and they're just, they're great steam. They're great raw. They're any way you want them. Uh, I've, had, I've never had a bad one. And then also y'all have a oyster um, farming operation as well, and they can um, be available in the summer because they stay under the water and are nice and plump. Is that correct? That's right. They're, uh, we grow them in cages, so they, and we put them in deeper holes, so they stay under the water all the time. And we have very stringent requirements of what we can do when we bring them in. We have to be back to the dock by mm. 10 o'clock in the morning. We have two hours to get them down to the temperature. Mm. So we take all those rules very seriously. And uh, we try to make sure we have a really good, healthy product. Well, I think it's wonderful that you found a way to um, use this wonderful ocean that we have and, and keep it even cleaner. Um, it's just a completely sustainable way of farming. And I want to thank you for coming this day. Thank you for coming out here. You're welcome to come get clams anytime. Thank you.